In this video, we will see how to create a form with Google HTML service and submit data to Google Sheets. First, create a new Google Sheet on your Google Drive and add column labels. Then, open the script editor from Tools, Script Editor in your Google Sheet. Third, add an HTML file to your app script project. Name this file index. Within the HTML file, you can write most standard HTML, CSS, and client-side JavaScript. The page will be served as HTML5. To write the code for the HTML form, we use the Bootstrap framework. It contains CSS and JavaScript-based design templates for topography, forms, buttons, navigation, and other interface components. We start by adding styles to the form. Click Introduction. Scroll down. Then copy-paste the stylesheet link into your head before all other stylesheets to load the CSS. Here is the form we are going to create. And this is the code. The form tag is used to create an HTML form for user input. Its ID is my form. The first two input fields allow the user to enter the first and last name. Use two radio buttons that allow a user to select their gender. We use the name gender in all options so that there are no multiple selections. To insert the date of birth of a user, use a date type input field. This type opens a date picker or digital wheels for the year, month, day when active in compatible browsers. Its name is date of birth. In the form there is also a field to enter the email. This email type text field has validation parameters and an appropriate keyboard to support browsers and devices with dynamic keyboards. We choose to put email as a name. The last input field is of type telephone A control for entering a telephone number. Displays a telephone keypad in some devices with dynamic keypads. The name is phone. Finally, here is the code for the submit button. You can find the code for this tutorial in the description. To create a web app with the HTML service, your code must include a doGet function that tells the script how to serve the page. The function must return an HTML output object. Once that basic framework is in place, all you have to do is save a version of your script, then deploy your script as a web app. Click Deploy. New Deployment. Next to Select Type, click Enable Deployment Types. Web App. Enter the information about your web app in the fields under Deployment Configuration. Click Deploy. Click this URL to test a web application deployment. This is the result. Now, we are going to send the form data to the Google Sheet. Create a new HTML file and name it JavaScript. In this file, we are going to write JavaScript code that will be included later in the index.html file. We are going to write a function called handle form submit. Google Script Run is an asynchronous client-side JavaScript API that we will use to call the server-side function process form once the submit button is clicked. Then, Use the reset method to reset the values of all the elements on a form. Now, add the following line to the head section of the index.html file. This code calls the server side function include and includes the JavaScript in the head section of the index.html file. Next. We are going to add two server-side functions to the code.js file. We start with the include function which allows you to import the content of the JavaScript HTML file into the index.html file. 
The second function called process form allows you to add the data entered by the user in the Google spreadsheet. First, we write the code that opens the spreadsheet using its URL. Copy the URL of your spreadsheet. Paste here. Note that the spreadsheet is not physically opened on the client side. It is opened on the server only. Then, use the getSheetByName method to access the sheet by name. Data is going to be the new name of our sheet. Finally, use the append row method of the sheet object to write a single row of data to the spreadsheet. To append a row, pass an array of values, corresponding to the columns, to the append row method. Save. Now. You can deploy the code as a web application by going to Publish, Manage Deployments. Click on Edit. Then, New Version. The web app requires you to authorize access to your data. Copy the current web app URL in the next dialog box and click Done. Paste the copied URL in the browser to get the form. Let's see the result. By clicking on the Submit button, the data is saved in the Google spreadsheet. But, you noticed that the form was redirected to the wrong URL. For this we need to add a function in the JavaScript file to prevent form submission. First, use the query selector all method. It returns all elements in the document that match one or more specified CSS selectors, as a static node list object. Then, add an event listener to all returned items. The prevent default method cancels the event if it is cancelable, meaning that the default action that belongs to the event will not occur.